Sunday, July 23rd, still hot. Let's talk about President Trump and the Russia sanctions. President Trump is about to take another major defeat. This man is not winning. He's really losing. You know, our, our focus has always been foreign policy here. But what's happened is the House and the Senate, both controlled by the Republicans, are passing a Russian sanctions bill to take it out of the hands of the president to reduce the sanctions. Now, generally, that I would disagree with that. The president should run foreign policy. But this is a real stunner because not only is the president lost in health care, that was major strike number one, but here he has the entire House and Senate turning one, basically most of it, the great majority, Republicans and Democrats saying, we don't trust you, Mr. President. After all, your son has lied or made misrepresentations on numerous occasions. Michael Flynn made misrepresentations on numerous occasions. Jeff Sessions has appeared to make numerous misrepresentations all about Russia, everything about Russia. And then the president runs out and he goes and is best buddies with, president, with, uh, with, with Putin, the thug, and nobody trusts him. So he has his 35% backing, though I still wonder if they all back him on this issue with Russia. But what this says is, is that Congress does not trust the president. And the people do not trust the president, because Congress wouldn't do that if the people were real supporters of President Trump, but they're not. Nobody, basically, the great majority of people in this country and the great majority of Congress says, Mr. President, when it comes to Russia, we don't trust you. Loss number two. What does that say? That says all he does is shoot himself in the foot. He had gotten quiet with the tweets. We had said from the beginning, I believed that he was not involved in the collusion. He was too far above everything. But it sure likes, there's a whole, looks like there's a whole lot of people who worked for him who like talking to the Russians. And it's becoming more and more obvious that Mr. Trump has money or invested in Russia or did have money invested in Russia. And there's another reason why he's hiding his tax returns. So this is loss number two. The president has one win, the Supreme Court, but the Republicans backed that. He couldn't get anything else on it, and they would back any conservative. That's no win. When it comes to really trying to make things happen with health care, with Russian sanctions, or just dealing with Russia, he can't do it. He loses. And it's only because he doesn't stop tweeting. Nobody trusts him. Most people don't trust him. Most people don't support him. And he's doing it to himself. As I've said from the beginning, if it wasn't for the Second Amendment, President Trump would not be able to keep shooting himself in the foot. And it really is sad because he had a chance to come in and shake things up. But all he's doing is shaking up his administration and failing miserably. Failing miserably. And when you don't have a belief and you don't have a belief system and all you want to do is negotiate, people ain't going to run him back yet. And if all you're going to do is bully him, people ain't going to run him back yet. Mr. President, 0-2, you're turning into a loser. It's not cynicism. It's the real. Peace.